Welcome back to another installment in our Philosophy Breakdown series. Today, we're exploring the enigmatic Parmenides of Aaliyah, a pre-Socratic philosopher who fundamentally challenged our understanding of existence and reality. Parmenides, born around 515 BC in the city of Aaliyah, now known as Velia in southern Italy, was a significant figure in the era of pre-Socratic philosophy. His place of birth is often considered as the cornerstone of his philosophy, as Aaliyah was a city known for its love of knowledge and discourse. Aaliyah was founded by the Phaeacians, who were Ionian Greeks escaping Persian dominance. The city swiftly developed a vibrant intellectual culture, which provided fertile ground for the young Parmenides. Parmenides was said to have been a student of Xenophanes, another pre-Socratic philosopher who is often seen as a key critic of anthropomorphic religion and a proponent of the idea that the universe is, at its base, a singular entity. Xenophane's influence may be seen in Parmenides' own work, as both philosophers' ideas contain themes of singularity and unity. There are also accounts of Parmenides being a lawgiver for his hometown, suggesting his prominent position in the community. However, his influence spread far beyond Aaliyah. His unique and groundbreaking ideas caught the attention of fellow philosophers in other city-states, and helped to shape the course of Western philosophy. Despite being known mostly through the accounts of later philosophers, Parmenides was an essential figure in the evolution of human thought. His revolutionary concepts concerning existence, reality, and perception made a lasting impact on the landscape of philosophy and continue to inspire philosophical inquiry even today. Parmenides is renowned for his profound and somewhat paradoxical philosophy that is built around two key notions, what is and what is not. In his poem on nature, Parmenides posits that reality is unchanging, uniform, and timeless, directly contrasting with Heraclitus' view of constant flux. To Parmenides, what is cannot possibly not exist, and what is not cannot possibly exist. The first and the most famous part of his philosophy is called the way of truth. In this, Parmenides asserts that what is is ungenerated, indestructible, whole, of a single kind, unshaken, and complete. He refutes the existence of void, stating that what is not does not exist. In simple terms, he suggests that reality is one, unchanging, timeless, and undivided. The critique of sensory perception is an important part of his philosophy. Parmenides argued that our senses deceive us and lead us to believe in the existence of change, which he deemed an illusion. According to him, true reality, which is constant and unchanging, can be understood only through reason and logic, not through sensory perception. In the second part of Parmenides' philosophy he discusses the way of opinion, or mortal beliefs. This is seen as the incorrect path since it's based on the senses that he earlier deems unreliable. Here he describes the cosmology of the world as perceived by humans, a reality filled with opposites like light and darkness, being and non-being, truth and deception. In essence, Parmenides challenged the very foundations of early Greek cosmology, and set a new course for philosophical inquiry. His emphasis on logic and reason over sensory perception significantly influenced the development of philosophical and scientific thought, which is why he is often considered the founder of metaphysics. Parmenides' principle, also known as the principle of non-contradiction, is a fundamental concept in his philosophy. It's formulated as it is necessary that what can be spoken and thought must be. For it is possible for it to be, but it is not possible for nothing to be. Which, in simplified terms, means that what exists, exists, and what does not exist, does not exist. There's no middle ground. This principle is a cornerstone in logical and philosophical thought, laying the groundwork for subsequent metaphysical and ontological debates. The importance of Parmenides' principle lies in its insistence on the need for an object of thought to exist. It argues that we cannot speak or think of what does not exist because words must always refer to something that is present in reality. This effectively draws a boundary around the realm of rational discourse, excluding discussions that do not conform to this principle. Moreover, the principle of non-contradiction served as a foundational tenet for classical logic, and has heavily influenced later philosophers, notably Plato and Aristotle. For Aristotle, it became one of the foundational axioms of his system of logic and metaphysics. This principle is also of central importance in modern philosophy, playing a key role in discussions on metaphysics, logic, and the philosophy of language. It forces a commitment to the view that our words and thoughts can meaningfully refer to the world, an idea that has profound implications for the way we understand truth, knowledge, and the nature of reality itself. Now, let's shift gears and see how Parmenides philosophy connects with nocturnity. After all, Parmenides was all about questioning perceived truths and seeking deeper understanding, something that followers of nocturnity can surely appreciate. So, let's dive deeper into how Parmenides' ideas resonate with the core principles of nocturnity. Parmenides' bold inquiry into the nature of reality echoes nocturnity's principles of seeking truth and understanding our world. Although his unchanging view of existence may contrast with our experience, it urges us to question our assumptions and pursue deeper knowledge. The essence of Parmenides' philosophy, his focus on the what is and the assertion that reality, 
is unchanging, might seem at odds with the dynamic nature of nocturnity's principles, which emphasize growth and personal evolution. But if you look closer, you'll find surprising overlaps and insightful parallels. Firstly, Parmenides emphasis on reason and logical consistency aligns with Nocturnity's focus on rationality as a guiding force in understanding the world. For Parmenides, knowledge and truth cannot be derived from unreliable sensory information, but through intellectual introspection. Similarly, Nocturnity encourages us to look beyond surface perceptions, to question and to seek clarity with a rational mind. Secondly, Parmenides' steadfastness in holding on to his unconventional ideas despite opposition is an inspiring demonstration of Nocturnity's value of intellectual courage. Just as Parmenides was not afraid to challenge prevailing perspectives, followers of Nocturnity are encouraged to stand firm in their pursuit of truth, even when it defies conventional wisdom. Finally, Parmenides' exploration of the nature of being and existence resonates with Nocturnity's aim to understand the essence of life and our place in it. His philosophy prompts us to ponder the fundamentals of existence, provoking thought and encouraging deeper understanding. In these ways, Parmenides' philosophy connects with Nocturnity, reminding us of the importance of questioning, logical thinking, and intellectual courage in the pursuit of understanding and self-growth. So, as we continue to explore the world of philosophy and apply these lessons to our own lives, let's remember Parmenides, a man who dared to question, dared to think differently, and dared to seek truth in his own way. If you enjoyed this dive into Parmenides and his metaphysical explorations, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Stay curious and keep questioning the nature of our existence.